Swole Benji here. Today I'm going to show you the Eburn's Wound Ghost Ship and the buff that you get for using it during the Ghost Ship fight. All right. So to get the Ghost Ship Eburn's Wound, you have to do this Una Daily called Bleak Night Fog. All right. Now you have to do this, do this until your rep is maxed out, but. Instead of waiting once a week to do this, because the ghost ship is a once a week event, you can just accept it and then use an Una daily completion ticket after you do it at least one time and complete it every day so that you can own this ship in a few weeks instead of a few months. Alright, so once you have the ship, if you go to Rowendell, you can find a merchant that will sell a, a legendary barreled. And the reason you want this guy is because if you put him on the Eburn's wound and you enter the ghost ship, he will give you these crazy buffs during the fight. 60% damage reduction, 120% attack power, 20% attack speed, and 40% movement speed. Now, the great thing about the movement speed is that when you start doing the harder ghost ships, you start getting more and more debuffed, so you will be barely able to dodge skills without this guy. So I'm going to show you the ghost ship with this guy. Now, there is a relic version of Barreled, but it is still fighter ghost ship level 4, which means... The legendary one is the cheaper version for the same effect. All you need is pirate coins to buy this guy. It's He's not that expensive either. So we're going to go ahead and sail now to the ghost ship. And we have the Eber Eburn's Wound. And uh, we're going to get massively buffed. And this ghost ship fight is going to be pretty easy. I'm using a 1100 gear score Shadow Hunter. And I'm going to go ahead and fix... Whoops. Let's uh, fix our engravings, so they are 3 out of 3, there we go, and we have the proper stats, which should be spec crit, awesome. So we are all set to do the ghost ship, which starts in less than 1 minute, according to the compass here. It'll open up for us, and I'm going to show off just how powerful this ship is going to make us. It does take a little bit of effort to get, but once you have it, your weekly ghost ship is going to be so much easier. And, uh... Yeah, my boat's taking a beating, <laughs> but uh, here it is. You can see the swirl. Well, you can kind of see the swirl. Uh, it should appear any moment now. Hopefully, we don't <laughs> lose our durability before it spawns in, but here's everyone else. There's another uh, <laughs> Eburn's Wound player. You can check him out, see, uh, see what he's got going on there. You can't really see what kind of crew they have. All right, and the ghost ship just spawned in, it says, so let's all get in there. And, uh, I'm, I feel like the ship is getting slower. <laughs> I'm, uh, I'm about to die on this ship, but it's fine because I'm just going to teleport out. Now, you want to make sure that you go into this. Hello? Game? There we go. It let us in. Uh, you want to make sure that you have plenty of the uh, Phoenix Feather things here. Phoenix Plumes. See, look, I can run around at normal speed, but this guy is slow. Down. Look how slow he's moving. Okay. All right, let's get in there. So you, you'll notice we have the debuff Foul Energy, which is minus 20 attack speed, minus 40 movement speed. But we're able to move normally, but look at everyone else. They're all running around like a slow person. For 19 more minutes, we have the Fighting Spirit Ghost Ship 4 buff. And uh, yeah, so we, uh, we're we not going to take any damage. We're going to be able to do tons of damage to the enemies here. So the Ghost Ship always starts with some trash mobs. It's not a big deal. Look at this. We just dumpster these guys. Pretty fun stuff. Alright, once the boss spawns, we're going to be a huge contributor. <laughs> uh, this guy is apparently 1340 gear score, but he does not have the buff that we do, so let's see if we can outperform him or not. Now, I don't think this mode gives you an MVP status report after the fight's over. Pretty sure it doesn't. But, uh, yeah, we're going to absolutely smoke this guy. There's no, there's not a chance that we die. And the, the new skins came out today. This guy's got a teal dino skin. It looks kind of goofy. He's doing some shore yukins there. That's a, that's a Street Fighter movie for those that don't know. Anyway, I'm going to build up my demon meter here. Uh, maybe. Probably not. <laughs> not all the way, huh? Okay, there we go. We got it. I don't want to pop demon form until the boss spawns. Because we're going to be hitting up real hard. Alright, just a few more trash mobs. And the fight will begin. And yes, I know, I, I, I think I said in a previous video that this will be the, you know, um, like, probably no more Lost Ark videos, but, um... They actually tried to do something against the bots. Okay, let's go demon form immediately start attacking. Four... Okay, and the boss is still shielded for five more seconds. So I'm not do I'm barely doing damage, but once that shield drops in one more second, uh, yeah, he's gonna start doing big damage. The reason why they give the bosses a shield like that is because they don't want some super geared player... Especially when you reach 1400s to just like delete the dude before anyone can get a tag in. 
But there we go. Our biggest hit is 1.9 million damage on this guy, and he's about to get staggered too. We deal tons and tons of damage on him. I am out of demon form, but I'm going to be able to get right back into it. I'm just going to go ahead and ult here, uh, or use my awakening skill. I call it an ult because it's kind of like a, a MOBA thing, kind of. But yeah, you can see here, this is trivialized. There's no way we could die to this dude. And we just deal so much freaking damage. He's about to stagger out too. Remember when the ghost ship was hard? Remember when the ghost ship would wipe you over and over? I have a video on my channel of me doing ghost ship on a bard, and it just kills everyone that's on the ship. But because, you know, I have this buff now, everyone here is going to have a nice, easy clear. Steal tons of damage. <laughs> uh, there's actually not a lot of people here tonight on the ghost ship. I don't know what's going on. There's not as many people playing anymore, it seems. It's kind of odd. But you can see uh, my movement speed versus their movement speed. Uh, <laughs> definitely helps. Also, for those that don't have this buff, you really should not run Raid Captain while you're in here because that's just, it's negative damage. Uh, you're just hurting your character, essentially. Alright, he's got seven more life bars. You know, I think the Ghost Ship is a cool thing. I hate that it's weekly. I wish it was a daily. I think it would be way more fun if it was a daily. There we go, and we're just gonna, we're just gonna dodge that, and then... Yeah, you can see everyone's just barely able to move around, and we're we're just moving normally. People might think that I'm speed hacker or something, but no, it's just the Eburn's wound buff. Uh, it it was pretty hard to get. It took a lot of time, a lot of instant daily Una tickets, and we can we can move around so fast. We can I was gonna say we could dodge this. It hit me anyway, uh, but you can see that it barely did any damage, and the amount of damage that we pump out, it's so worth it. It's so everyone needs to get the Eburn's wound. Go get it. Go get barreled. Put them on your ship. Ride it out here. Have some fun on the ghost ship. Beat up some ghost pirates. We got 12 minutes to beat them. We can easily do that. Uh, yeah. Fun fight. And uh, I'm a self-sustaining class, so I haven't even had a potion yet. Because I can just go into demon form and heal 20%. And I'm pretty sure that'll sustain me without having to chug any potions. Of course, I say that, and then he's gonna like bust out some crazy AOEs here in a little bit, and things are just gonna get absolutely just scary, bonkers, crazy. But we have that damage reduction buff. Remember, damage reduction—it's there, it's on us. This is gonna hurt. Let's stand in it. I stood in it. I'm fine. It just tickled. It didn't knock me over. It's just like like getting pushed around a little bit. It's not fatal. <laughs> but to these guys, maybe it just might be fatal. It just might be. Let's dodge out of the way of that. Get back in the fight. And hit him with a laser beam. Let's start dodging here. Of course, I didn't have a dodge ready for that one. Or a dash, because I burned both trying to DPS harder. Why does he charge into the wall? It's weird. Okay, so that that attack hurt just a little bit. So we are semi-wounded, but that's okay. Back into demon form, heal 20%. Start DPSing, and I did not crit one of my big explosion. I'm going to dodge out of the way of this so I can increase my DPS a little bit better. Alright. This fight is so much easier whenever you can move around freely. It really makes a difference. I haven't been paying attention to the combat log to see if anyone's died yet. we got three life bars to go. And, uh, yeah, I just wanted to show off to the world just how good this ship is, how good the buff is. I think it's a pretty cool concept. It's pretty cool to have something like this in the game that people can work towards. I haven't done the tier 3 ghost ship. Not a lot of people have because it's such a high gear score requirement. Okay, so that hit really hard. I'm actually going to potion here just because. It's a little safety potion. The potion, it's it's just silver. It's very cheap. The phoenix plume, those can get a little pricey. Okay, this is the, the white mechanic where everyone's going to start dying. Look at all the bodies. <laughs> all we got to do is run around. Just uh, have a little mini game here. little ring around the rosy. Little musical chairs? Not really. See, look, this guy just he just ate shit. He just died. He's gone. He had to burn that plume, but we didn't. And, yeah, the boss is getting a little more aggro now. Back into demon form we go. And just start dumping on him. <laughs> we are, uh... Th this is the reason I like to play MMOs, is because you can feel like the hero of the story. Like, right now on this ship, I'm the big boy of the ship, right? I'm the... I'm the alpha, the Chad of the ship, right? And, uh, yeah. <laughs> uh, getting it done, and I'm feared again. I'm actually... Oh, th four hits! I'm... You know what? 
fuck the ghost ship, and fuck the Eberg's wound, and... <laughs> you die anyway! You just die anyway! It doesn't matter if you have the... <laughs> <laughs> uh, anyway, guys, uh, so 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 barreled the ghost ship is a complete waste of time. Don't don't waste your pirate coins. Don't waste your Una daily tickets. Don't bother. Don't bother getting it. Okay, complete waste. Because <laughs> if you get hit by four fears at the same time, you're dead anyway. Okay, there's one and two and three. <laughs> oh, you, you, you guys like how I just kind of uh, flip flop. Ebert's wound! It's so good, guys! Oh my god! And then, well, it doesn't matter because the boss can still kill you. <laughs> uh, even if you're at the highest technical gear score that you should be doing this, uh, 1100. Like, technically, you shouldn't even be doing this at 1100 unless you have alts, which is the only reason I'm doing it. I'm just doing it for the content, right? Okay, we staggered him. We're the stagger chad. Let's get him down. He's nearly dead now. Hit him with everything we got. We got plenty of demon meter left. And there we go, we did it. Alright. I wish it would give you more drop. Like, the time it takes, I'm gonna be honest, like, unless you need these moons breath, which are untradeable, there's no reason to come to the ghost ship, because this is a very meager amount of stones. It's, it's, and this? Look how much money this made me. It's gonna make me, like, 50 gold. I'm just telling you right now, there's 15 and, f okay, 20. <laughs> 20 gold. It's not even, look, I don't even... Fuck, fuck that. I'm just gonna throw them out. It's not even worth bothering to sell. Okay, guys. Um, and, like, I've... My character's done with these. I don't need them. See you later, right? No, I'm gonna keep them. Just to, just to look at them and be mad later on if I continue to play this game. Guys, I'm Soul Benji. Thanks for watching. As always, be a bro and stay swole. And why is there mobs here? Like, wh what is the mobs doing? Why are they here? They're all over the boat. <laughs> uh, anyway, guys. Videos every single day. Hopefully, uh, what do we have? Elden Ring videos! Yes, that's what it will be. By the time you watch this, by the time it's out, hopefully I have a whole plethora of Elden Ring videos to show you. And man, these skins look goofy and ruin the atmosphere of the game. Really unfortunate, but whatever. Um, I know that's how all Korean games turn out. <laughs> the cutesy stupid crap. So I'm just going to teleport out, and guys, I will see you in tomorrow's video. Take care. Hopefully you found this one useful or not. Uh, I, You know, if I knew what I knew now, I just wouldn't have wasted time getting the ship anyway. I think it's a waste of resources, waste of time, waste of Una dailies, whatever. Um, I would rather just die in AFK until the boss is about to die and then, and then res. I don't see the point. Take care. See you.